Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, Undercover Scam Beta. I've been overwhelmed by your support for my channel, and can't believe that we have already reached over 250 subscribers. Thank you for joining my team. Every subscription, like, and comment drives me to continue to waste scammers' time, exposing their deception, and educating my viewers. Part 1 of this video demonstrates how scammers trick potential victims through fake emails stating that their antivirus subscription has expired. In part two, I present evidence that the real Norton might be employing deceptive practices to convince unsuspecting customers to purchase their antivirus software. In part three, you'll hear one of my telephone conversations with Norton's support, raising my concerns with what I uncovered. I don't want to outright claim that Norton are scamming people. But I will present the evidence and leave it up to you to decide. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Many of you would have received emails that landed in your spam folder requesting payments for antivirus software. These are usually sent by scammers impersonating well known antivirus companies. The scammer wants you to click on the link within the email to make payment for antivirus software. The link usually goes to a third party website and if you are duped into making payment then you are charged for software you will never receive a subscription for or even worse your credit card and personal information is stolen. To the discerning eye these emails from scammers are an obvious impersonation and ignored. There are usually a few red flags to look out for. In this email you'll see on the screen, the user is simply the first part of my email address minus the domain, e.g. at hotmail.com. The discount is much higher than you would expect for a renewal. The grammar and formatting is poor. For example, it says, Norton antivirus subscription is recommended to protect your device. Being activated a special discount to be used on Thursday 7 July 2022. There is also urgency to scare you into purchasing the subscription as soon as possible, usually within 24 hours of receiving the email. The biggest red flag is the unusual email address this is coming from. Also, legitimate emails from companies you have a prior relationship with should address you by your name. If you are fooled into clicking a link within the email, you are usually directed to a website not belonging to the antivirus company. If you receive emails like these, Please don't click on the links within the email out of curiosity. I've done this for you on my virtual computer, so you don't have to. I can easily reverse any damage these scams do to my virtual computer safely. In this example, when I clicked on the Renew Now link, I was directed to a website that was very similar looking as Norton's website, so understandably this could trick some people. The domain name which you will see in the address bar at the top of the browser is todaytopoffers.store which is not one of Norton's domains. On further examination, you will find that none of the links work except for the subscribe now link, the one they really want you to click on. When I clicked on subscribe now, it took me to a page requesting my personal information. I filled the form out with false information to see where the website would take me. It then requested my credit card information, so I completed it with fake details. The transaction failed as I expected, but if I had entered real information, then they would have received both my personal information and credit card details. The reason I illustrated this email antivirus scam was first to help my viewers to spot a potential scam, but secondly to illustrate why I think the real Norton might be trying to trick people into buying their antivirus software. I do want to emphasize the word might because I'm not 100% certain. I want to provide the evidence I have and leave it up to you to decide. While I was surfing the internet on my virtual computer, I received this notification in the bottom right hand side of my Chrome browser. These Chrome notifications appear alarming, stating turn on virus protection and critical virus alert. But these notifications are fake and are designed to trick you into clicking on them. As I am safe on my virtual computer, I decided to click on the notification to see what would happen. The notification launches another tab in Chrome and begins what looks like a virus scan on my computer. Now I know that this isn't what is happening, 
This is also fake like the Chrome notification I just clicked on. This is simply a website that was created to fool people into believing that their computer is infected with viruses in the hope that you will be alarmed. I decided to take this fake warning message advice and clicked on the proceed button. What happened next took me by surprise. I expected the proceed button would take me to a scam page like the email did from the start of this video. That didn't happen. It took me to the legitimate Norton antivirus website. I must admit that I was stunned by this result. I examined the Norton website for a few minutes and indeed it is their legitimate website. This got me questioning. Why did this fake virus message take me to the legitimate Norton website and not a scam website? Is Norton knowingly paying scammers to trick people into believing their computers are infected with viruses so they buy their antivirus software? What would motivate scammers to create these fake virus websites that send potential victims to the Norton's website and not one of their own? I have a few theories. The first is that each time someone purchases Norton antivirus software via these fake virus websites, the scammers are getting a referral commission. Potentially Norton may not be aware that they are paying scammers a commission, but I have no way to know if this is true or not. My second theory is that someone working at Norton are knowingly paying scammers to direct traffic to their website. And if this is true, then this is fraud. My third theory, which I believe is least likely, is that the scammers making these fake virus websites are leading people to legitimate websites so they gain trust to scam them later. I doubt this is true as my experience and knowledge of scammers is they want to get your money as quickly as possible to scam you for more money later on. All my theories may be wrong, and perhaps there is a better explanation, so I decided to contact Norton. I spoke to a level 1 and then a level 2 Norton technician about my concerns. I didn't expect I would receive a satisfactory answer from them, as they aren't trained to respond to this type of query, so I requested that it be escalated to a senior technician. I received a call a week later from a senior technician, and following is relevant snippets of our conversation. Uh, my name is calling from Norton. May I know if I'm speaking with Mike? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's me. You were facing some issues uh, while using Norton. So could you please tell me, still you are facing that issue or the issue is resolved? No, it's not an actual issue with Norton's in itself. The issue is, I got this message on my computer saying that um, I was infected by five viruses when I visited a website. Yes, yes, I can see right now your... Uh, uh, email which you have sent means you have sent some screenshots. So what actually happened, I got a message in my browser saying I got five viruses from the link and it took me to your website. But the issue that I have with what actually happened is my computer wasn't actually infected, it was a fake message. So my issue is that Norton's is, is using deceptive tactics to get people to buy their software. There are so many third parties which are using the name of Norton as well as Microsoft. These kind of message pop-ups uh, you receive. Yes, uh, just allow me uh, one or two minutes so that I can cross-check it once again. Means why it redirects to our website when you click on it. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Why, why it happens? Because uh, this is the link which you have sent. If you see the uh, snapshot, the second one which redirects you to our website, this is not our website. Uh, if you see on the very top where the URL address uh, reflects, highpotencysoftware.com. These are reseller parties. No, 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 let me stop you there. When you click on that proceed button on that, on that page, it goes to your website. It's not going to, to a fake website. And that's the issue I'm having. This web page is saying that uh, that I have viruses which I don't have. And then when you oh, click on proceed, okay. it's actually going to your website and you're trying to sell um, software. This highpotencysoftware.com, you can also do this thing. If you have a website, you can copy our link. So if you use this link URL, Whenever any customer or any person click on it, it will redirect you to the legitimate site. So people think that, yes, it is from Norton, but this is not from Norton. There are third parties who are doing these things.
so we are i'm um, really very sorry for this hassle caused to you but these are not the tactics there if any any uh, link you got please do not click it they will sell this product or might be they can do some other activities so i would also request you either you are using not or not please do not open any unknown emails as well as unknown things uh, because these are very dangerous and do not click uh, here and there no 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 you you are really not understanding the issue here I've got a virtual machine set up, so I, I understand all the risks. I'm doing this on my virtual machine. I know that page is a scam, but my actual issue is when you click on that proceed button on that page, it is going to your website. It's not going to a scam website. If it's going to a scam website, sure, what you just said is, is fine, where after you click on the proceed, it takes you straight to the Norton's website. It's not actually a scam scam website it's taking you to. It's taking you to your company's website. I find that I, I very suspicious. That. I, like, I completely understand. I com sir, I completely understand your issue. I'll re-escalate it uh, to these guys. But actually what happens, because I can also do this thing. This is very simple that if I uh, have created a website, I can use Norton Sling, Microsoft Sling, I can paste that link in my website that is I'm a third party one. let me give you an example just you create a website okay and you are third party security so or software selling uh, uh, people and you can copy your uh, original link and you can paste on your website whenever any customer click on proceed it will redirect you to Norton's original uh, website so that nobody can doubt on your authenticity that yes this is uh, from Norton and you can sell your product. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But it, but it's going to your actual website. That's the thing. So it's sending it's sending traffic to your website. So if I then um, click on subscribe on the web page it takes me to, it mean, means that I'm paying money to the real Norton. So to your company. Why would a scamming website send me to a an actual legitimate Norton's website like okay. why why would they why would they do I that I understand your point I completely understand your point that why they will redirect you to the uh, original Norton yes I completely understand when you click on it at that time they notifies that customer is interested in this product okay that when you click on it they will notify that yes this customer needs Norton product means they will get your number or email or anything no 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 no, no 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 listen no i haven't provided any of that information and i haven't been prompted to okay. provide any of that information uh, then how you uh, got this 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 link uh, highpotentialsoftware.com i got it from a, a, notif a chrome notification yes yeah, so this is this is the third party this is i'm saying that Please do not uh, open any third-party uh, links like that. You opened it. No, ex no excuse me. Excuse me. I deliberately did this on a virtual machine. Do you understand what a virtual machine is? Yes, yes I know. I you know. do? I okay. Know. So I've done all this on my virtual machine because I can just roll it back. But the reason why I did this was I was just trying to work out how this all, all worked. So I deliberately clicked on a um, Chrome a a notification. Which I, which I knew was from a third party. And it brought me to that website that comes up with a proceed button. And from that, I clicked on that and it took me to the um, Norton's webpage. Now, as part of all that process, I have not provided any of my information, no phone number, no email address, no personal details, nothing at all. So this third party doesn't gain anything from this unless they get a cut of when I click, if I clicked on the proceed button and then bought your software, they must be getting a cut of, of the profit. So they might, must be getting a percentage. That kind of points me towards your company, Norton, using uh, a third party website or company to bring traffic to your website so people are tricked into buying antivirus software. In, in, in this case, yes, yeah, so sorry to interrupt you once again, sir. Okay, in this case, what we can do, we can raise a complaint against this uh, this particular uh, uh, the uh, the particular third party, uh, the, that is highpotentialsoftware.com. 
So uh, let me re-escalate this issue once again that uh, this, this third-party security software using our website's link. So our concern is the customer's uh, happiness and customer's concern. So we will we will take uh, action on it, and sir, we will raise this complaint uh, to the higher management, and let's see what they uh, what they uh, tell. If, if I got and revert back anything uh, important, then I'll again take a uh, follow up regarding the scene. Okay. Okay, so will I be kept in the loop with what's actually happening with this? Because if what I'm saying is right, then um, Norton's is doing fraudulent things. So I, I need to know, I need to be part of whatever the end result is, okay? You complain it, it's a good thing. And uh, you can also write it to Norton, but we, we will raise your concerns uh, to Norton that these things are, these, these kind of things are also happening. Sir, I'm, I'm really very sorry for this hassle cost. You do not worry. We will also raise a complaint. And if anything uh, important I got uh, uh, from our senior team, I'll get back. Who will you be escalating it in particular? Like, what? where does it go to from here? I'm the mediator between level one and uh, our level three, our engineers. Yeah. They will research on this uh, uh, and they will see if there is any uh, anything serious then they will take action. You, I'll again call you and will inform me that this is the thing. This is this was the matter. So you're going to escalate to level three tech? Is that what you're saying? Yes, level three engineers. Let's escalate this issue, and uh, this is a good thing for us because uh, you know goodwill and the brand image is the most important thing for any company. Can I just say one last point? As part of my experimenting with these, you know, scam pop-ups, I actually experienced where, you know, I've got a similar thing saying, you know, I've got a virus, and then I go from that website, and it takes me to a fake Norton's website. My concern really came from, like, w one of these scam pop-ups is taking me to a fake website, which makes sense, because they want you to um, pay money, and they get your money, and you get nothing in return. But... In this instance, it's not doing that, and that's what really concerned me. Uh, yeah, yes, I completely got it, sir. And uh, let's escalate this issue. And once I'll get an any any anything important, I'll again call you. Okay, thank you so much for and your thank time. You, sir. Thank you so much for your uh, your time as well, and sir, your patience and your cooperation. Thank you, sir. Take okay, care. no problem. Thank you. Bye. Since this phone conversation, I've not received a follow-up phone call or email from Norton. I'll post an update video if they do. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. Thank you for watching Undercover Scam Beta. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos.